Welcome to River Bend Town on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. And thank you very much, Lydia. And uh, your dad's here, Pigpen. <laughs> right? I Brought to you here. by Halpin Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about it. Like, if the Undecided's been around for 35 years and you were their roadie. <laughs> right but like he was about nine that's what i'm starting to think here there's some debauchery going on here but you know in the old days i mean we hear stories all the time neil sean guys like that they were playing in bars when they were 12 13 14. yeah and there, there's no doubt i i have uh, some pretty good memories of of some club owners and managers taking issue with me in the uh, early years Cause uh, age. Yeah, because my age. Well, I figured he was lying about his age, and he's really about sixty. <laughs> <laughs> we had the we had the police with us all the time. You know, my father. So yeah, that's it, true. It was, we were able to sneak by. Yeah, we got we got that, that's the voice of Don Sandage uh, Jr. There, no, Don Bon Sandage, as we Shut used up. to call him. Hey, right. Pull that mic. Actually, pull that mic over closer. More, more affectionately known as Das to, to those of us there we from go. back in the day. He, he's Dastardly. taking charge now. He knows what. Dastardly, Don. Dastardly. So Dastardly. Dastardly Don from the Undecided. Next to him, we got Paul Steinbrook. Yes, I'd like to say hello to my wife at home, <laughs> my family and friends. That was really him. Yeah. I don't even know what to do yeah, anymore. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came down here to kill the video. Star, right? Well, we love that. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. I don't know what your problem is. Uh, you me, man. I, got, right. I got the giggle fits. I don't know what's going on. There's something in the air. There's you, blood water yeah, down here. Well, you know, I was going to tell everybody that we're still high and dry for sure, for right sure. here at the for Hotel sure. Stratford. For sure. But there's we're water the downtown not too far from us. Not too you far. Know. Just oh, just over. You have one there. more person to introduce. I just want to catch hey, you back is up. Is that Bill? <laughs> I can't see him. There's a microphone in the way. Hey, Bill, is that you over there? Bill Muffler. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> he's, he's the straight guy, I guess, you know. Yeah, yeah. well, there's always got to be one in every crowd, <laughs> you know, so. And now, comedy, now, right? now I, I do have a question. Uh, when when did you join the Undecided? Uh, well, we're just playing right now uh, i guess about what is it, about two months ago we started rehearsing See, two now, months. I, I i knew it had to be new because two months like i remember but how long have we known the guy well like, like 60 since, years i was gonna say since the undecided started he's yeah. been in the same he, circle he though. knows <laughs> that's good that that's great man well welcome aboard welcome to the crew man thank you so, somewhere amongst my collection or my my all my relics there's still an undecided all access pass probably hanging yep. somewhere <laughs> we used to print those we thought we were so cool with those when we first got it. When I came on access, yeah. I'm on backstage, big yeah. Al. They got us in the bathroom. That's about it. <laughs> right, right, fast. Right. <laughs> oh man, we were uh, we were talking out in the front about some of the old stories with you guys. We're gonna have to get into that, but first, I think we want to cover what we want to cover some Thursday and Friday. Yeah, gigs let's get or? a little bit into that. So because otherwise, uh, we're gonna chat all night yeah, and we we're will. never gonna we give will. anybody any promotions. No, and, we might have to make this like a two three part series. <laughs> Yeah, 35 years would take at least that. <laughs> we still couldn't tell. Uh, one through st- ten now. <laughs> I think it's time for the undecided documentary at this point. Now, now we're talking. Yeah. Or just the local scene documentary with all of our... That'd be crazy. I yeah. mean, that would be because yeah. there's a lot of... We got a lot of good bands around this town. A yeah. lot of, a lot of man, good bands. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. And Cottonmouth being one of my favorite. We got him sitting right here. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Well, that's yeah. how I keep up with our anniversary. I'm like, oh, they're 35. We must be 30. Jeez. He's Yeah. Oreo Speedwagon just, what, did what, 45? No, I'm kidding. No, no fog it did They 50. just, uh, uh, Scorfina was in here with us saying they did, him and Terry Jones did, what, 50? Or, or uh, uh, the singer did a 50-year reunion. No, I think it was Head East. That's the one that they're doing their 50 now. Yeah, Head East, man. Remember doing yeah. the, Was Was it Head, Head East was the, the guys who drank a lot, and Fog Hat was the ones who drank just water. Right? I, don't, I don't remember. Right. One of them was super straight edge. We, we, we worked with them real close to each other, mm-hmm. and one of them was super straight edge, and one of them was wasted. As I know I know somebody somebody in the I band uh, stole the, the drummer of Fog Hat's uh, sunglasses. I do know that. 
<laughs> we'll, miss, we'll miss you any names, you know. Yeah. I think your drummer and, and and maybe the guy who was doing the lights took a, one of their fifths of whiskey out of the bag. Oh too, got caught Somehow I ended up with his kick drum head. It's all signed, so it's hanging on the wall in the studio. We're cool with it. Nice, nice. Oh man. Yeah. So uh, they opened the night market tonight. Yeah. yeah right. And, we and, talked uh, about that Stone last week. Sugar Shakedown is is playing down there. Open yeah. it up. Who's excellent? That? Oh. Stone Sugar Shakedown is an excellent uh, psychedelic band. So, <laughs> so that place is called the Pocket Park, kind of. Yeah. I mean, unofficial. Unofficial. I'm going to make a sign and put it up, and then we're going to make it official. I'm going to make my own sign and just go hammer it right there on Broadway. I don't even care. What are they going to do? Yeah, it's been on television. Pocket I'm just saying. <laughs> it's the Pocket Park. So anyway, oh, yeah, yeah down, down there between uh, Jacoby's, right kind of across from Woodstock there. Uh, In between... Uh, Jacoby's and uh, Germania. Germania, yeah. Right. There's there's a little piece of, piece of grass. That's where they hold the night market, and the Stone Sugar Shakedown will be uh, the first band of the season down there. And that's what Germania Brewhouse was waiting for to kick the open mic out. And so the did. open mic starts right. tonight also. So we'll be back to every Thursday night, open mic night uh, for Germania Brewhouse. Brewhouse. I, I don't think Morrison's is going yet. <sighs> No. I don't really know. I had to come down and look. The, the water's awful high. Yeah. Yeah, what about uh, all the, other, the ones down there at the foot of State Street? Are any of them open? Most of them are open, but really? like Morrison's know. down on the corner. I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Grafton and downtown Alton is suffering right now, those bars. So so we've got a plan. Everybody, when they open back up, is going to go down and drink twice as much as they normally do. Well, I guess we did a, a benefit uh, Sunday night. Yep. And yep. Uh, me and Paul provided the... Uh, equipment for that so i I, you know that's the best we could do yeah nice yep absolutely man way to chip in it it takes a village or a town or a big sponge would help (laughs) (laughs) big sponge (laughs) so you still got the open mic at raging cajun tonight you right on right and then they're doing a graft of music in the park but they raised it to a red hawk park it's right. normally <laughs> grove memorial i'm not exactly sure red, red hawk park all we know for sure is that is it a park it's a park in the grafton area that is higher <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> in altitude than the park that is underwater and we always like are. higher parks i like I mean, I'm just i like a lot of it I, there's getting thinner am i getting high well just you know question <laughs> We Just could find out because if we catch it uh, checking out the uh, Little Mermaid Junior uh, by the Goshen Theater down at the Roxanne Nazarene Center. I'm down. It's, it's probably. Free, it? Yeah, well, it may be. I mean, you know, I don't really know exactly what it costs, but there's a link right there at cottonmouth.org so they can figure that out. <laughs> there you but it's, go. it's all weekend, so <laughs> it's just premiering uh, tonight. Right on. What else we got? Uh, they're going to kick off the uh, Randall D. Dalton Veterans Park uh, Beach Party down in uh, Pontoon Beach. Right. They do that all summer long. That's good stuff. Thursday nights. Matt Powell. Matt Powell, right yep. on. Kicking that off. And we got a uh, Hobo Jungle. Like, and they're uh, celebrating. Like name. Yeah, they're celebrating <laughs> I them. I know Lonnie real well. <laughs> well, Jeremiah Fury got married. And it's like his uh, reception slash, uh, and he's with uh, Amped Up, right? Okay. Go. Uh, 6 p.m. in Imperial Pub, Granite. Right That's on. a cool place. Right on. They're doing some cool stuff. Lonnie Hill singer for Doug and them Spain. He's singer for Hobo Juggle. You're on the radio, by the way. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling Paul. Wait a minute. We are? He forgets he's on the radio. No, I mean, I, Paul knows who I'm talking about. Man. Yeah, I know. He's a friend of ours. Yeah. Way back. I like the name Hobo Jungle. I do too. Well, I, you know, I like the Hobo Sexuals better. That's a hilarious. That would be a good one. <laughs> the, the Hobo Sexuals. I only bring that up, Donnie, is because we've all hung out enough that it could get like we're just hanging out. It you is. know, so I have to remind ourselves that we're. On the radio. Hold on, man. We're on the radio. <laughs> I, I, Sometimes I'm like, I, I am wondering, why is there a mic in front of me? And then you remind me. Yeah. Look at all the people here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I think Don said, well, you know, there's well, some stories we can't tell. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, well. all right, we got Mo Pleasure every, uh, every Thursday night down at the Lake House of Buffalo Park in Maryville. Yep. We got the Petty Breakers celebrating the music of Tom Petty at 8 p.m. at the Wild E Theater in Edwardsville. And it I think is. one we yeah. might have forgot is DJ Denice. Yeah, Bossa Nova. That's a possibility. So there you go. Uh, that is the Thursday night in the Alton and the uh, Riverbend area. I heard not, a good review on Thursday that Tom night. Petty too. I heard it was really good. Yeah, right on. I don't know though. Uh, they're, they're, you know, if if Al Canal booked him up at Wild uh, the Wild E Theater, I bet they're pretty oh, yeah. good, man. Uh, he 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 gets some pretty good acts in there. So, all right. So uh, here now we got to go into the bad news. All right. Right. 
Yeah. We got a downer. You know, uh, Danny Harris uh, passed away this mm. past week. And uh, so they're doing a thing for him down at the Lovejoy, which is the old Elijah P's. Right. Right. Uh, his band was uh, El Polo Loco. All oh, right. He had right. like this wrestling mask that he wore. <laughs> right, when he played. Right? <laughs> and so they're doing a retirement set. Mm. And oh, it's wow. uh, Drew Goebel's band, Coping with Hope. Church Key doing an acoustic thing, and then Biff Gnarly and the Reptilians uh, from 7 to 11. That's Friday night. And that's in memory of uh, Danny Harris. What a sad story there. Yeah, that's a bummer, man. El, El Polo Loco. So, yeah. All right, let's pick up the spirits Back for Danny, because yeah. that's what he'd want, man. Sure. Back to the Rock action. Yeah, every Friday night you can catch Matt Tall at Bigelow's Bistro, unless Matt's got something better to do. Yeah. <laughs> every Friday's yeah, not boy, doing something else. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, uh, Mila Ray Duffy will be at Morrison's Irish Pub if they're open. Yeah. Yeah. She plays with the Dead Roses. Dead right. Roses, oh, yeah. They're, sound, they're super. Yeah, I'm an absolutely fabulous group of girls there. Uh, we got uh, Clinton Company, 9.30 p.m. at the Pump House in Wood River. You, Dun- you missed your buddy, Grand Pagano. Oh, did I miss Grand? Oh, man. Not, not just you. my buddy, Grand Pagano, but Graham? my buddy, Aaron McCoy, also. Right. Uh, yeah, the, the Grand Band's going to be down at Shea, Maryland. And now Shea, Maryland, I guess, maybe open. They, they were having a pumping problem, but I think they finally reopened. They're still listing shows. Graham's so. awesome. Yeah. yeah, he played in our ACDC tribute yeah. band. Yeah, he, he, yeah. Was, he was our uh, our other guitar player. It was yep. great. I remember that. He's, Blast. Yeah, he's fabulous. And uh, Aaron McCoy plays with him in the Grand Band. Good Been around you. forever. Played in Ten Tribes with us back. You oh, know, yeah? played all the I shows back in the day. <clears throat> so fabulous musicians there. Uh, every Friday you can catch Dustin Coleman up at the High Flyers Grill in Pethalto, Illinois, right by the airport. Hicktown's going to be right down the road from there. Doc Holidays in Cottage Hills on Friday evening. Uh, STL Every Little Thing Band, 9 p.m. at the Imperial Pub. And that could be any kind of music for it Imperial could. Pub. And this brings me to a point that the Undecided would love to share with me, and that is, you know, when someone takes your name, right, yeah. it causes problems. Our right. bands had that problem. Your guys' bands mm-hmm. had that problem. And uh, so this is one of those things where, you know, there's a band called STL Every Little Thing, right? There's obviously another every little thing somewhere. Right. Oh. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Yep, I see. So in No, I didn't. You know, that's why they do that? Yeah. yeah. I, didn't realize that. I just thought they wanted to know where, hey, this is where we're from. Right. <laughs> and, so, and so you guys, if I type in the undecided, I noticed like on Facebook I had to capitalize it to actually find you. Yeah, there was a Canadian band that came along like... Uh, Canadian band that came along. Paul can tell you the story. They're, I don't know the story. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he don't follow them. Hey. I think they formed in the mid nineties. It was this Canadian band called Rush, but before they were Rush, they no. were the Undisputed. No, right. I don't know. I don't know. Well, the funny thing is, like the reason you come up with the name in the first place, right? <laughs> The reason they came up with it, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know. We kind of had a weird oh, reason. Oh, <laughs> now, now, wasn't that an Evan, an Evan gig that first put Evangelical Church? Evangelical we'll, Church. We'll, yeah. We ain't gonna talk about what their original name was, right, Paul? No, we're not. No. Gonna talk. <laughs> Come on, tell us the story, Paul. <laughs> Come on, Paul. <laughs> tell it. Tell hey, us what happened. I'm last, not gonna tell it. Last time Paul was on, he's like, "Look, I don't know any of those stats for the undecided." <laughs> he's like, "I know it was somewhere in this time frame, but I, that's knows, about as close." <laughs> It was just after the Reagan era or somewhere yeah. in there. I don't know, man. Kennedy was in, no, <laughs> Kennedy was in the White House. No, It started with a C and it ended with an S. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so if you're playing crossword, <laughs> how many letters, right? <laughs> well, I can't tell you that either. <laughs> Probably half a dozen or so. <laughs> People have to fill it in the blanks, man. Somebody will get it, too. Well... <laughs> Wheel. That's a uh, fun uh, radio, right? Uh, I'd like to buy a vowel. I'll take a U. <laughs> nope, there's no U. <laughs> no, and, and, and somebody, somebody made us up. A, actually, suggested and made us up a banner, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. Oh my gosh! So let's uh, let's go with the undecided uh, name story since we teased it. Do you guys remember how that all come down? I- I wasn't in the band yet when they did it. So. Yeah, yeah, he he came along just after that. It was a three piece. Matt, Matt, Scott, Scott Robertson. Yeah, we were we were gonna do that little high school deal, and we had that other name, and uh, <laughs> somehow it got <laughs> somehow it got changed, and then uh, 
Someone asked you nicely. I'm sure. I don't even it. really know. If it, I think <laughs> your dad did it, didn't he? Just well, like, I think I think Mayor Mayor Sandage, my father. Uh, I think he came up with the idea. I know he bought a black sh- uh, sheet, of some white paint, and spread it out on the garage floor one night, and he painted the giant white question mark and the the and he pl- he painted hand painted right. remember that we used to carry it around for you Every, for everyone oh my god that banner hung behind us for a long time and uh, yeah my dad hand painted that until it finally fell apart and then we i think we had one professionally made along the line but but and then it got to the point where it was too late to change the name because it was like everybody knew us as, as this right. real crummy name we had all kinds of other ideas yeah. but you know it is what it I is i think it's a great name I remembered it from the first time I heard it. You didn't call your band that, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. No, you got, you got a cotton mouth. No. <laughs> Where is you? I know, that's a good band name. Yeah, that's and that's why, that's yeah, why that's we got That's a good the, name for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying I remember it, you know. The trademark was worthless, though, I'm just saying. Oh, man. I don't think that would have fit us. Can't <laughs> ride down by the rift. Well, I guess it could. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys can use it. We let everybody else. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. Yeah. All right. Where, where were we? We were at Aries yeah, Winery. Yeah, there you go. We were, believe it or not. Wade Trent. Going to be at fi- Aries Winery. Uh, we're on Friday evening. Yeah. Friday evening at 5 p.m. Aries Winery. Uh, uh, Wade Trent. Uh, Aaron Bode and friends at the Wild E Theater, 7.30 p.m. on uh, set our Friday evening. And then Papa Pat Liston at Papa Vito's. There you go. Where's Papa uh, Vito's? Where's in Belleville. Okay, Belleville. it's in yeah. Belleville. There you go. So pa- Pat Liston going down to Belleville ooh, to ooh. sing about the blue mist. Uh, Corey <laughs> Evitz <laughs> at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Rogers and Neen House, 7 p.m. Mm, uh, those are good, too. Granite City. Oh, yeah, those guys are good. Granite mm-hmm. City Elks, uh, 7 p.m. on Friday night. Amped Up's going to be at Eddie's at 9.30. Uh, Thurston Howell. Love that name. It's the Thurston Howell duo, 5.30 p.m. at the Yellow Dog up in Warden. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I do like that name. That's good. Thurston Howell. Uh, I like the, the the logo. He's got that got a wolf howling with a beer like a thir- thirst and how i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's good stuff man i put a question mark in my logo that's that'd be a good one. oh you guys did that didn't you <laughs> My dad invented. My dad invented that. He did. Yeah. Man, you can credit a lot of things to your dad with that band, yeah, he's, huh? He's well, big part. He, well, not yeah. just the band. A lot of things, period. But yeah, in your guys, truck, he was a truck driver, our light guy, our roadie. Yeah. I mean, he, uh, yeah. our uh, financial backer. Yeah. The, the guy to stand up for us when we're too young to be in a club. Fed, fed us on his yep. credit card when we were broke. We were all starving. Remember, <laughs> you were there. We're gonna get a hamburger. <laughs> Uh, it cool. was it was always nice whenever he wanted to ride home because you knew you were getting fed. Yeah. If he's like, hey, can I get a ride home with you? Oh, yeah, he absolutely. He took care of our old road crew, too. <laughs> yeah. He took care of them all. Yeah, he did. He took care <laughs> of you guys. Yeah, and then took uh, care of the town. I'm just yeah, saying, that's did. a lot more people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss him, him dearly. Yeah. Uh, back, back to the action here, almost through the Friday night. Friday night, 8 p.m., uh, Jaded Pearls at the Lake House in Buffalo Park in Maryville. Uh there you go. The the foodin' hillbillies. Yeah, I think it's feudin'. F- oh, the feudin'. There yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> feudin' hillbillies. I've never heard. I like that it one. his way. I've yeah. never heard this one, man. We all it's like the, the pig pen's it's, way, but it's the, the band of might not. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like it's like Stein said. Yeah, that's great for pig pen. <laughs> <Right. laughs> like you maybe. The band don't like it so the much. The sun always shines when you live in your own little world. It don't matter if you're right, wrong. It just don't matter. I'm always happy. Feuding, fooding, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Hatfields and McCoys. You ever feel sorry for the one dude who lived between the Hatfields and McCoys? Well, you well, know that was just rough, man. Get off my lawn. <laughs> right, sure. right. So the, the feuding hillbillies <laughs> at 7 p.m. going to be playing the 14th annual Glen Carbon Homecoming. And 14 finally, of them. Undecided, four, ever been on one of those? I mean, you Glenn know. Glen Carbon Homecoming. A long time, I don't remember doing Glen no, Carbon. So much. The you guys are old by 14 years. Too close. We didn't drive far. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I remember in the Glen Carbon area was the uh, the Granny's, Granny's Rocker, Rocker that was yeah. up there, and then it seemed like uh, Granny's Edwardsville. That was a place. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't know if it was you guys or maybe Palace. Somebody did a few gigs at that old Cottonwood Mall. I don't know, Greg. He played that was us. That was where Granny's Rocker was at. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, but the, 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 it was out in the mall a couple times. I was there for like oh. some daytime. Oh. I don't remember playing Cottonwood with Palace. Okay, 
but I don't remember a lot of things from those. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Yeah. That's why we're all together. Cause we can't remember shit. I don't. I don't remember why I'm here right yeah. now. Uh, I'll say so. Now we're now we're to where why we're here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We made there it to Saturday. There we go. We, we could, we're taking a break with it. Well, yeah. Uh, we'll mention <laughs> once again, you know, the Little Mermaid Junior down at the Roxanne. That's all oh, yeah, weekend, Friday go. and Saturday, but uh, at the Nazarene Center down there in Roxanne. And why are we here? Because the undecided is getting back together. Thirty-five years, man. Has it really been that long? Yeah, like, man. You got to be in your sixties, pig pen. I'm just saying, <laughs> for that to be legal. <laughs> I, I, nobody said anything was legal. It's not even real. How can it? Doesn't need to be legal. Okay. But no, I, it was. It was like 1984, right? 84, 85. So that would have made me like 14, 15. Whenever I hooked up with these guys. Yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't, and it was a couple of years before we hit the bar. Find this dude. Yeah, that's Scotty the brought him. Yeah, Scotty. Scotty brought him. Yeah, Scotty brought me around, man. Him and him and that that uh, the blonde kid. Uh, um, I can't think of what his name is. Greg. Goose. Greg. Greg. Greg I, oh, Greg Worthen. Yeah, Greg. Yeah. Greg tagged along with me, man. Yeah. He he grew up in my neighborhood, and um, we had Creek, and we had Goose. Yeah, man, my Creek more, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, missed that dude, man. Yeah, he was, yeah. Uh, had, had a lot of fun jamming with him through yeah, the years too. Right. Uh, but yeah, that's uh yeah. So that that was a uh, back in, in eighty four. You guys got together. No, that it was eight, early eighty five. Early eighty five. Yeah. I knew it was right around in there because that's whenever me and Scott, you know, I was hanging out with Scott, and he's like, "I got a band, dude." I'm like, "All right, cool." You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Next thing I know, he's like, "We got a gig at Eve, man." I'm like, "Can I carry your drums in to get in for free?" <laughs> and here, here, here we are playing at a church. Or, you know. yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> That was a hot spot though for for that age group. Yeah, the old summer. Remember Stein, the old summer. Oh, we used to go see a few before we got to play there. Well, it was kind of an honor at the time. Yeah, we're like, well, we get to play oh, summer yeah, jam eighty five, and we got to play there. And it, it was some really good bands that year. It was fun. Homicide, homicide. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then there, there was the other church uh, in Uptown Alton had the youth center. That man, I'd see like a, the white trash and a lot of good. Well, we always did Elm Street. That was Elm Street, wasn't it? Was that Elm Street? I yeah, believe okay. it was. Yeah, yeah, man, that. <laughs> He's and the College Avenue Presbyterian had some yeah. stuff there for a little bit too. That's the one I was thinking of. Down it, up there, it got crazy. What was right. it? Pizza Limited and Pizza uh, John. Showbiz, yeah, Pizza Showbiz. Place. They, yeah, they Pizza would always Limited. take the assault shakers off the table so the punk rockers wouldn't start throwing them. <laughs> 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 like, what if I want salt for my pizza? I mean, yeah, I don't. I want to just chuck it in the crowd. No, I don't. <laughs> now we're going way back. That's like eighty three. That is that's, way back. That's a long time ago. Is that good times so, though, right? And the side never played there. We were. You, you know, yeah, I think you, our little grade school bands played there. You got. I, I guess uh, it was post showbiz time when you guys. Yeah. 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 I just remember hanging out there and, and seeing, oh, how about this, my hands across America. Oh Wasn't that a legendary God. gig? Yeah. <laughs> what an incredible gig. Remember we were lined up downtown, yeah. and we did our set, and we jumped in the line, held hands? Well, what, what, uh, my, my greatest memory of that was Steinbrook. Somebody was uh, kept asking for the same band over and over. After every song you guys would play, some little you know, punk was... was Play Dead Kennedy's play. I don't know whatever it was. Yeah. And finally Stein goes, "Would you go buy the album?" He goes, "I got it." He goes, "Then go home and listen to it. And leave us alone." <laughs> <laughs> and I started that dying. is punk rock. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> That's like, what punk rock is. You know, for those who don't know, that is a. Officially oh, punk rock. Oh, that was it was so punk rock. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I still laugh about it all these thirty years later. Whatever. That's right. Yeah, we did. We you guys got on stage. You all held hands and changed yeah. the world. I don't know. Well, I guess we did. But I, I, I think I, I picked up hepatitis that day. Yeah. Hold <laughs> Got it from New Jersey <laughs> or something. I, yeah. I got three out of four hepatitis that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Two different continents. What's <laughs> <in the middle. laughs> right. well, that like a terror? <laughs> rating alert three out of four i don't they know travel you fast I tell you. <laughs> oh, man. i'm not sure the whole world should hold hands anymore yeah. <laughs> they haven't done it since that right, was right, 1986 right. so um, yeah. everybody's yeah. still fighting the disease we passed around oh, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. let's get some hand sanitizer <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's too late for that. It's sanitizer, it's, pass it around. Yeah, it's just yeah. way too late for that. Well, I only touched you for a second. Get man. your hand sanitizer out, folks. Oh, man, okay. that's funny. My hands are, are clean. All so, right, so, so with that. 
so with how, that, right? Maybe right? we should take a break. But maybe we should freshen up a little <laughs> bit, right? <laughs> 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 shower, <laughs> <laughs> sanitizer down. <laughs> and we'll come back with more uh, Riverbend talent. Brought to you by Halpin Music Company. And uh, on uh, Paul Steinbrook's last episode of Riverbend Talent, he told you all about stuff he's bought there. A bunch yeah. of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Took lessons there and everything. Check out the podcast at altondailynews.com. That was when they had the sound spot. And we would hang. That, was oh, like the, wow. that was like the hangout for a while. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Lunchtime. Mm-hmm. Lunchtime. Go to the sound oh, spot. Also brought to you by Matt I am. Matt Mr. Matt Van Voorhis of Macias Insurance. Right. You probably insure some of these guys. Insures me. Okay. If well, he insures we got me, one. he'll insure anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more after this. And now more Riverbend Talent. With Dennis Laird and Pig Pen. We're back with more Riverbend Talent right here on the Big Z. I'm Dennis. Pig Pen's with me, and it's brought to you by Halpa Music Company. You know, they're having a big parking lot sale June 22nd, Pig Pen. Nice. From 9 to 5, they're going to do some garage sale type prices. They, they said they got old stuff that's been laying around you haven't seen in a while. They're going to ah, drag out for this hey thing. Right, right, that's right. That's cool. And free donuts from 9 to 10. So get there early. That's all it takes for get me, free, free donuts. donuts. <laughs> that's right. Get some coffee. <laughs> register for a $100 uh, a certificate. Ask them about Kid Rocks, right? Yeah, and what you, you need to do is ask them. How My come name we, is. How come we haven't heard any of that Kid Rocks on uh, River Bend Talent? And then they'll know you've been listening to Riverbend Town, and we appreciate that. There you, you go. That, right? and yeah, they, uh, they, they, the, when the Kid Rock gets to the end of this time, they need to record that so we can play some of it on here. I'd like to hear it. I'd yeah. like to hear what, what kids that age produce in that short amount That'd of time. That'd be cool. I awesome. See, I see in the photo Mark Landon was playing bass with him, so he picked up the slack <laughs> there. But So it was cool to Wait see him minute. helping he, out, though. He's out of the age group right? here. <laughs> hey. He was born on a leap year, maybe. I don't know. These guys will tell you, sometimes the bass player doesn't show up, and whoever's around is a bass player for that jam, right? <laughs> That's happened before. <laughs> okay. Right, right. And uh, we got a mission, Mr. Matt Van Voorst, Miss CS Insurance, also a sponsor. And you know what else helping uh, music is sponsoring? The SIU Summer Percussion Camp. Awesome. You know what that got me thinking about camping and how we're inviting everybody to go camping with us. I, let's, right? Let's do it. Invite the whole world. Right. We'll all hold hands like it was uh, Hands Across America. Where are we going? Now. We're going to uh, FramilyFest.com. Right? <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, Come you got to throw that in there. there yeah, the there's a lake. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Lake Sarah, right, right on the. We got uh, an banks expert of fishing Sarah. guide right here, I'm Paul about. Steinbrook. Oh, he's a man. He could tell us in seconds of where the hole is, and then he'll tell us that's your hole. I'm gonna go find another <laughs> one. <laughs> I, I kind of got a, a certain cove that I think is is the one that's the hitting one down there because I see all the old cats hanging. We out gotta go buy there. a boat now. Oh, you can actually <laughs> rent a boat down there cheaper really? than anywhere I've ever rented a boat in my life. Uh, it's like for thirty bucks you can go take a pontoon. Boat Give Stein a jig and, and show him where to go. He'll yeah. snag it. It's it's the cheapest boat rental uh, right there at Larson's Landing, which is right next to the uh, uh, the festival grounds. So where's this at? It's in Effingham, Illinois, right oh, on geez, Lake Sarah. I was just there twice yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. You, if you're cruising through on the 26th, 27th. You know, there's going to be VIP pass. We'll let you right in. Just watch out for that road construction on 70 all okay. the way there. That's good it's to know. Nightmare. That's yeah. good From to know. From Altamont all no, the way to Effingham. No, it's not. No, it's <laughs> by, by July <laughs> 26th. By July 26th, that's all going to be fixed. He don't know what he's talking about. I, it's I a, it's an easy drive. Everybody, come on out and uh, come to Family Fest. <laughs> no, when you go going rush out, it sucks. But I'm sure it'll be fine on the weekend. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and the, and also camp is Camp Climax for girls that weekend. Yeah, yeah, the re- another reunion there. Right. So, so you there thought you your go. name was, you know, but that's yeah. a pretty good one. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Yeah. Yeah. Drew Mater. I'm have to just leave that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what he had to do because he ended up having two <laughs> girls. <laughs> he had to tell he had to tell that story on air. He's what, like, well, I ended up having woo! two girls, and boy, do I regret that that's band becoming old. something. He readjusted. He, what, what did he wouldn't even call it? He was calling it yeah, CCFG <laughs> or what? He's spelling it out like these guys. <laughs> yeah, CCFG. Camp Climax for Girls. That's the name of the band. Drew Mater's band going to be doing a big reunion tour coming up, what, July? Well, it's the same weekend. Same weekend as Family Fest. It's the camp weekend, right. And they're going to be at Gaslight on the 26th and down at Bottom Barrel. We'll have Drew Mater on as a guest before we talk about it. Right, and that means they'll be tapping into some undecided PA sound. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you guys... 
uh, supplying the sound down there. Thanks a lot. It's uh, the only, since 300 shut down, the only uh, really original club in town. So it's uh, an important thing to have in this town. Yeah, that's something we did after 300 shut down. Justin got a hold of me and I said, yeah, let's do it. So yeah. we've been doing it since October It's last pretty. Year. It's important to have a club that supports local music Absolutely. Uh, in a town this size with this many musicians. Cause <clears throat> plenty of clubs for the covers. Uh, but yeah. you, you guys know, just like we talk about it a hundred times over, how you, you know when you're playing the circuit back in the day all the time, mm -hmm. you, you want to slip your originals in. But then the managers come up. What was that third song you played in that yeah. set? You know, yeah. uh, my my favorite story was uh, with with Mama's Pride talking about that with Pat and Danny List, and they said they were, you know, Mama's Pride was out doing it all the time, and they would have to. They were a touring band, and still club at managers. What was that third song on that last set? And he said they'd always go. Oh, that was Three Dog Night. Yep. Try to, <laughs> he just try to right. try to slide a couple. In. I was Metallica. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, just blame it on another band, whoever it sounds like, man. So, yeah, but it, it's nice to have a, a club in town that does support the well, original cool. music. So, thanks for being a part. Me of that, and guys. Paul and the guys are are happy we're doing it. Yeah, and that's and where you, we're going to be playing. Yeah, and you guys have been pl making original music for. 35, 35 years. years. Well, even Start, before that, I mean, probably close to 40 years. But now, 35 years together. 35 is, is the undecided, starting with a beautiful song about your neighbor, Miss Farmer. We're not going <laughs> to sing oh the rest God. of it. God rest uh, her soul. Uh, <laughs> Everybody in the block's gone now. Miss <laughs> Farmer didn't like uh, the, like uh, the likes of us too much. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. It was a little too... <laughs> too uh, yeah. might, have been, might have been some fireworks shot in her general direction. No, I don't know, I know about that. That was some guy who moved away years ago. <laughs> that, that was a passerby. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. They were looking so, for two other kids. <laughs> right. So the cool thing, though, about <laughs> you guys uh, <laughs> providing the sound down there, <laughs> you know, anybody can throw up a couple speakers. That's not what you guys are doing. I, I want to yeah. stress that, you know, because, you know, oh, I could throw up a PA for you guys. No, this is like professional sound. Yeah, yeah we got to get out. That's what you mean, no. Well, the reason we I say that. Earlier, no, we're not going to go there. Okay. No, rock, no, it's a good little system. Rock the Hops, for example. You guys are down at 300 States. Same type setup, right? Yeah. And everyone wanted to, the bands all wanted to play there. It yeah. was because of the sound. Well, because we <laughs> right. would go in and we would actually, you know, mic everything up. And we took a little care into, you know. That's how I rehooked up with Greg, right? Because he he'd come down there with his original band, and I hadn't seen Greg in so long. <laughs> and Paul had, had jammed with him and told me how good he was, and then he he jams down with his original band. I'm running sound. I'm like, whoa, this guy's incredible, and, and his band's amazing. And so that's a, that's the reason why me and Greg rehooked. Nice, nice. And we live yeah. like two blocks from each other. And we didn't realize, <laughs> we didn't realize yeah, the older it. The older we get, yeah. the lazier well, we get. We're oh, driving yeah. by each other every day. I need a you know a bass player. There he's, don't even know he's there. Well, and, and like you you know we were talking about earlier, he goes back to the the high school days yeah. where we were all no, yeah you know, we were all playing out. Yeah. yeah, he was with hanging with Tony Morales and the the likes of Lance Klein and our <laughs> keyboard player Mike Lombardi. Mike Lombardi, man. Yeah. So Greg's like from that original. Yeah, the original cluster. Circle. Of, yeah, yeah, you know, and, but dude, so really, it's, really it's nice we, having him. Here, I, I, I hope good. that it's still like this up at Alton High. But man, when we were there, there were so many bands popping. I think there is. There was so many uh, high school I don't bands. Know. My was, kids are out of high school now. When my <laughs> kids were there a few years back, they said, "Dad, nobody's in a band." I hope it's changed. I, yeah, but I, my kids are a little older now, you know, so. <laughs> Well, you know, Tom Pullen's kids aren't too uh, fresh out of high school. Yeah, they're, 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 they're super phenomenal. talented. Yeah, yeah they are. So oh, there you go. There's yeah. a good example yeah. of what's going on now. And uh -huh. he's, he's yep. just ran sound for them players. Sunday. Right, yeah. yeah. Just ran sound for them on Sunday, and they get easier and better every time really? I, I deal great. with them. Yeah. Accidentally on purpose. We need to plug yeah, them, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. So, so we got so a the big, big show, yeah. We got a big show coming up at the back room of the Bottle and Barrel. Thirty-five years. That just makes me feel old. Yep. Say it. Thirty. It's a uh, this Saturday night, uh, June fifteenth. We got three bands going on. It's going to be the Undecided. Uh, my, uh, well, I can't say my son-in-law's band, but one of my favorite bands. You know, Disguise the Limit. My son-in-law just happens to be the one of the guitar <laughs> players, and then our friends feel. Which yeah. are really, really They're good cool. bands. I, I, I kind of had to get them aboard because once I ran sound for them, I'm like, you guys, yeah, are, they're good. definitely, yeah. And it, my, my uh, YouTube buddies, feel for yeah, sure. My you'll, buddies, you'll the sky's away. the limit. I've been watching them grow up. I've run their sound for several phases of the changes throughout 
what their band used to be and you know they're really growing and then uh, i want them to you know play with us too and it's going to be an exciting night with a lot of folks having fun you know <laughs> reminiscing yeah 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 table one back in order oh my god they've already ordered it up they got it reserved <laughs> most of the original ones are going to be there <laughs> yeah. oh my god oh my god uh, we ain't got enough room and, and so besides uh don sandage paul stein paul and greg who who uh, is going to be sitting in uh, well jr jr is, yeah. okay nice. i wasn't yeah. sure who was going to sit jr engel he of course uh yeah. been our drummer since uh for a long time 91 right after scott 91. yeah 91. yeah right after our original drummer had, had left yeah and uh Jay's been on all the albums, all the recordings since since you know everything they started to get released yeah. right. from from the first uh, three albums of the greatest hits, the, and the new one that we did that we didn't release. It's on the internet, and the one that we're working on now with Greg, which is going to be something really awesome, cool. Right, and then some of the stuff we just done on the side, messing around, which you've heard a bunch of it mm -hmm. on uh, on the YouTube. We're not really selling it; we just throw it out on the internet for free and go, "Hey, here it is, something we made up." Sometimes Paul will pub publish it like the day we recorded it, throw <laughs> it out there right. later in the afternoon, and people get to hear it. You know, it's yeah. just raw, and it's you know, there's a couple of them that you actually had commented on you liked. So yeah, it's just kind of the way we're doing it now. It's fun, and yeah. and the show Saturday is going to be going to be kick butt. Yeah, for sure. Gonna That's guaranteed. Time, man. Absolutely. You know what David Lee Ross said one time? He said, I like hey, to man, do can that. I get a everyone that? Pauses <laughs> on, well, it's hard telling. He, he said, can hey, buy so, hey, <laughs> I know what he said to me in Central Park. He said, you holding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway. We're sorry, David Lee Ross. We love you. <laughs> he said, if you do anything 42,000 times, you're bound to be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eventually, I'll forget the words. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. Uh, tell Ozzy that he can't remember the forty-two thousand times as Ozzy can't remember the words. Yeah, still, well. so. But Dave's the guy on Rockline back in the day that said, "Put the radio against your body." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My voice vibrate. But Dave was just a he, was a he was a character. He is still. He still is. Yeah. He's great. yeah. Club, it, Club Dave. What's amazing about YouTube, and we talked uh, with Stein about this, you know, that you can actually sit there and watch these guys teach you how to play their songs now. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, Dave's one of those guys, when you watch anything he does, you're like, he's for real, man. That's not fake. Yeah. All these years when you thought that was some kind of flamboyant stage presence, he's like that 24-7, oh, man. You know what I mean? Dave. you got to respect that. And, you know, <laughs> Dave can't sing. No, man. Dave can sing. Oh, yeah. Trust me. Listen Dave, to it. You know. Dave's not here. Dave's not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my guru, man. That's where I got that high, go. high voice. Well, it's so when are we going to get the uh, Cottonmouth guys and you guys and then decided yeah, well, let's all sweet. do a show together? That'd be sweet. Man, man there you Down go. Down there at the bottle and barrel, plan another one there or something. There you go. I don't know, something. Yeah. I, yeah, I think I think that. we could make that happen, man. It would be a big could, deal. Yeah, I, think I like when we set up shows on live on the radio. They're like calling this. us, <laughs> telling us to <laughs> cut it off early. We're getting way out of control. Uh, yeah, it, it's, was that out was there. a call from the bottle and barrel saying, "Man, they'd love to have us all down there." <laughs> They're already ready so, for it. Man, so they, it's, they heard it's happening they, quick. But. Yeah, man, things move. <laughs> things are moving really quick here toward the end. What about you guys? You still dabbling with the recording? I guess a little bit, huh? But oh. putting out new stuff on YouTube every day they can. <laughs> yeah, it's like fuck. We gotta work all the time, so we're gonna get together like one every ninety days and do one song. You know, we, we're we're working. Yeah, we're all workaholics. Is there, we have to pay our bills. Is there anything <laughs> uh, particular that you guys might uh, combine and actually release at some point? That's I newer, think so. Or? We were Probably. just talking about it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised, but Paul just threw me a couple uh, new ones last week. I've been rolling around in my car. I'm like, dude, these are awesome. So we got a couple brand new ones in the, in the back pocket. Dude, that's the best thing since Don't Bring the Brown. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pull that one back out, man. That's a good one. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, Paul writes some doozy. He does, he man. Does he writes good some good stuff. I know. Absolutely. That's why I'm, That's why I had to bring it I up. I like all the stuff he writes, man. I, I don't care for the stuff I write. I'm like, oh, that's great. You know, <laughs> you get more enthused, you know. <laughs> Uh, of course everybody knows you had one song that did pretty good huh yeah we got lucky with down by the river man right. that was something we, we put the album out 25 years ago uh last week wow and it, wow. it took man. off and hit uh it was one of the top selling albums around town and next thing you know it moved up to the next level and the next level 
And the next thing you know, it was all over the Midwest. And then, of course, we got that radio deal and it took off across the country. And if it didn't hit, you know, the Gavin radio charts, we were in the magazine and we are like with an independent label, yeah. you know, just tr- guys trying to make it. Next thing you know, like our songs like being played all over the country more than – Janet Jackson and and you know <laughs> not Rhythm Nation, bro. You you can't notorious B I G. You know, there's all these huge stars at the time, and our yeah, songs. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? It was crazy. We yeah. flipped out, and then the, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And that was some 25 years ago this summer. We had a ball, then we went into doing all them big shows with Motley Crue and and playing with Great White and. Yeah, it was a hell of a ride 25 years ago. Yeah. You know, hell yeah. of a ride. Then Great White burned all those people, and we didn't hang out with them no more. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, <laughs> man. Man. That was horrible. He did. <laughs> Sorry. Too, too soon. soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Man. Man. I don't Joe know Bo- if that's even legal in these times. 2003 or four or whatever. Uh, that's I'm true. sorry. That it's a frayed new world we're living in now, man. You're dropping some bombs. That joke was as lame as Rosie. Yeah, that was legs. a freak accident. Also, it really was. We all blew up pyros back then. You right. Guys oh, know. I mean, I, we're guilty. It was a stupid accident. You know, with all that foam on the walls, that yeah. should have never been. Somebody should have looked it over and said, hey, man. No. You know, look, well, I'm joking because those guys are probably using some actual sort of pyrotechs. I well, can remember. continuously burned. I, I can remember taking coffee cans and cutting them off about an inch tall mm-hmm. and taking an extension cord with the wires bare and putting yeah. some gunpowder on it did. and putting in a switch to go we, we used to, we used to know, use like actual pyrotechs we used to actual light yeah. sockets with a lead tube right and, and, <laughs> and wrap a little thin wire over it run to it i'd hit a button on the stage and we'd put some black powder or something and just blow Pow. up it was stupid replace yeah. the filament with guitar strings solder them in there that works too <laughs> <laughs> that, that works too We've, we've all, that's why this guy's playing with us. I'm telling we've you, Frank, he knows. Smoke we, bombs in your pickup. Oh, oh my God. I smoke bombs. Turn my back to the crowd, take my cigarette butt, light the smoke bomb. And I'll tell you, one night I got a big whiff of that. Uh oh. When I'm trying to grab the next line. This, this purple smoke comes up in my throat. And I'm, he he took French a big, inhales it. My whole entire throat was burnt for the next week. I couldn't sing, I couldn't talk. Don't Man. inhale smoke bombs, kids. It's right. bad. And don't get too close <laughs> to the dry ice off. machine either. That thing will knock you out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> For a long time, we used those outdoor uh, yard foggers that were oh, run off no. propane. Oh, <laughs> that was when I broke Oh, no, Remember that down there at the, the when we played that eighth grade party down there at the, at the, Mar- at Mar- the Marquette gym? <laughs> and Donnie, Don, the chief had the he had the mosquito fogger back there, squirted out a whole. It wasn't hot yet. Juice squirted the juice out all over the stage. I, I, the song was starting. I came running out. I was going to make this big, cool, grand entrance move, man. I came, I came out there, and slipped in that. It's like a banana peel under each foot, man. <laughs> You remember that? I do remember that. Uh, and then I landed on my guitar and broke the jack and the cord all off. <laughs> then you jumped up like it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Except yeah. the guitar didn't work. Had, had to do something. All right. Oh my, tr- tried, to, tried to play it cool like well, nobody saw. Nobody that. knew. Oh, Paul, we got a good done with the show. Paul's like, yeah, I broke my goddamn guitar. Oh, oh man. And my hip. <laughs> you, remember you, you and, and the chief and everybody out in between the songs, you guys were running around Creek more. You had a bunch of, and then were there were the stage up yeah oh man that the, the trying to get that off the stage <laughs> so we wouldn't fall again we we learned a lesson we light those propane ones up and let them heat up a little yeah. while <laughs> we right, start just pulling them just really <laughs> sl- spread out on the other side <laughs> right the curtain open and we're like ah oh, falls on his Jumping right up like a spring, though. It, was it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny Everybody stuff. Everybody thought it was part of the show. <laughs> right. Man, he's like doing flips like C.C. DeVille. Oh, that's great. <laughs> no. was, we, we were 17 oh, and we could do that. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff, man. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Now, when you guys uh, put that album out with uh, Down by the River on it, was that like... That was 25 years ago last week. Did that yeah. song... Was that the song you guys thought was the best one? No. That, no. Yeah. No. I guess... Who picked it? it? it well... I think it was a DJ, wasn't it? The Dan took it up to the the radio station up in Quincy, and Brian Miles took it and listened to it, and and he liked that song and just started featuring it. And the next thing you know, uh, we had people people were calling in. First, it was our, our own people were calling and requesting it, and, and then pretty <laughs> right. soon our people weren't calling anymore, and more people kept calling, and it, that song just took off. 
Nice. And then I yeah. guess what you had to hit, prime the pump a little bit. There. Yeah, it hit some type <laughs> of a weekly review that the radio station sent out about tons of requests, and then I think somebody picked it up with Bill and Sally Jerome, and they were promoters from like what Atlanta, Georgia, yeah, or something. From Atlanta. So they wanted to sign us to some kind of promotional deal. So we went in and said okay, and then they were like, all right, we'll have you on uh, five or six hundred radio stations coast to coast, like in two weeks. We're like, yeah, right, whatever. Yeah, bam. They did, and we were like, "Holy wow. crap!" It's real. <laughs> and they were like, "All we can guarantee is they're going to play it. We can't guarantee how many people are going to call in." And then all across the country, every every town that had a river running through it, the song hit number one in nice. thirteen major radio markets that whole entire two week period. I was shocked, shocked. Man, I'm going to do a song called "Down by the Railroad Track" because every town has railroad tracks going through it. I think it'll be bigger. I might change no, the I, words on Saturday to "Down by the Flood." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down by the overextended river <laughs> well i was just uh, thinking you know we're we're sitting here uh, high and dry as i mentioned as but we're still down by the river man, 25 you, years later you guys might be driving I'm all right. <laughs> right so awful ironic that 25 years later you'd be talking about that song while it's flooded right outside the window here it i know is, it is. Yeah. and it kind of bums me out because I, I was kind of hoping that uh we, you know, inspire some folks to take a ride down by the river for, but it ain't happening. River roads closed yeah. from from here to Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Well, you can definitely see it from the Bottle and Barrel, which yep. is where you guys will be Saturday night. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Good, place good sounds will be echoing off that river. And in the building. Right. So awesome sound down there. Cool little place too. And uh, appreciate once again you guys providing that sound for those original bands. It's so important. We got to get you guys down there until it's it's not complete. Until we get everybody else. Yeah, a, lot of way, a long way to go, man. <laughs> We're working our way back to you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you want to hit the rest of uh, what's going? On? I mean, I don't think there's anything else that matters. Sorry, rest of the band, but you know it's undecided weekend. Yeah, it's undecided uh-huh. weekend. <laughs> his stuff let's jam a tune and we're gonna go home we gotta okay. work tomorrow because gosh we got real jobs now <laughs> ah, the struggles of life so real uh jobs let's Bills. go through it here pig yep. ben let's roll number uh, four combo doing it 7 p.m bakers and hale and godfrey love those if guys. morrison's is open that'll be paul cruda skylark brothers 8 p.m at shea maryland's and alton matt tall uh doing it with uh jonathan baker do it the brown bag bistro matt tall at noon and then jonathan baker at five right full circle 10 p.m at mike's 10 pin and alton and good to see a different band down at mike's 10 pin they kind of slowed down on saturdays but nice to see somebody going down there and playing again nightlife 7 p.m at the alton bfw uh gracia harrison 5 p.m on the patio at uh, the pump house and uh undecided's old buddies at 9 30 beowulf Nice. They, they might have a year. Where are they at? They're, they're down at, at the pump, pump house. house. Who's yeah. Oh, God, those are, our, those are our buddies. They used to yeah. let us play grannies, man. We'd, we'd have to come in and open up for them, but we'd come through the back door because we were too young to be there, and we'd yeah. do a set, and they were they were instrumental and let us get out and play. And know? they did that with a lot of bands. They did that they with did. us as well. And uh, Good dudes, man. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, check them out down at the pump house. Uh, what else? Brad and Jerry, 9 p.m. at the Franchise Sports <coughs> Bar uh, on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. The Liston Brothers doing uh, the 2 p.m. and a 7.30 show at the Wild E Theater right. in Alton. Since it's the Liston Brothers, I won't sing Blue Mist. I'll sing a Danny Liston song. Can I call you a cab? Can I keep, help you pack your bag? All right. Anyway, move on. <laughs> That's a great you, Danny Liston well, song well, right there. I want to hear you sing Down by the River now that you're singing people's Down songs. Down by are, the River. <laughs> 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 uh, we got Harvard Drive, 7 p.m. at the uh, Oyster Bar, Grafton yeah, Oyster open. Bar, if yeah. it's open. Yeah, uh, well, no, it's probably not Hog Pit, not the Hog Pit, probably not happening. Uh, oh, but I bet Aries Winery will be yeah, open. Yeah, nice and high. So Jeff Newman's going to be there at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Okay, skip that one. Levi Lloyd at uh, 3 p.m. at the Comedy Night at 7.30. Yeah. Uh, well, at the Grafton be. Winery. <laughs> we got Borderline 7 p.m. at the Third Shoot Bar in Grafton. All right. Roaming Home 9 p.m. at Proof. <coughs> and Tanglefoot 6 to 10 at Wild Pickens in Chesterfield. We got Picking and Scratch at 8 p.m. at the Rooster's Pub in Staunton. And Hard Drive 7 p.m. at uh, DeCamp in Staunton. Yeah, DeCamp Station. DeCamp Midnight Station Special 9 30 at Eddie's Bar and Grill. And granted, you guys had yeah. to have played Eddie's at some point. No, never. No, never. really? Yeah. You, that's too far. Road gig, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> midnight <laughs> special. <laughs> Two midnight or three hundred times. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, Thurston Howell, 9.30 p.m. at Chaps in Litchfield, Illinois. And uh, Silver Creek Bluegrass, 8.30 at the uh, Glen Carmen Homecoming. We talked about that one. Double Tap at 8 p.m. at the Cabin at Judy's Creek in Glen Carbon, and that rounds out the uh, the Saturday. All right, so you got open mic Sunday and Wednesday at the Stagger Inn in Edwardsville, and then Kurt Copeland Sunday fun day open mic at 3 p.m. at Proof. Rogers and Neen House doing wild pickings 2 to 6 on uh Sunday. Pat Liston at 3 p.m. at the Brown Bag on Sunday. Graham Pagano, 2 p.m. at Aries Winery. Yeah. Mo Pleasure from 2 to 6 at the Grafton Winery on Sunday. Well, and we'll skip the hog pit. I don't know. Hopefully they're open, but it ain't looking yeah. good. Yeah. No, it ain't. Is anybody open up there? Well, we're saying, you know, the high, <laughs> high side's side. open, the low okay. side's closed. Gotcha. That's probably so. a good bet. Uh, but they will be open at the Lake House of Buffalo Park in Maryville, and the Skylark Brothers will be performing there 4 p.m. on Sunday, and that takes care of your Sunday in the Riverbend area. That's, right. a, that's a lot of gigs going on from right. Thursday yeah, to man. Sunday. You got Fosterberg Music in the park on Monday, and then uh, they kick off the Robert Wadlow uh, concerts with uh, Bud Summers on Tuesday. So that's going right. to be every Monday and Tuesday night. We and, actually uh, did a benefit in 1985 to help fund... Uh, for the Robert Wildo statue. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, we played in the street. Remember that, Paul? I wasn't in the band yet. Oh, that was right before you joined the band. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was the last three-piece gig, man. It was three months before Paul joined. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, but, yeah, I'm just throwing in that Robert Wildo thing. Was, uh, I, I do remember when Paul joined the band because, you know, the band was good as a three-piece, but Paul just had the chops, man. It was like, oh, wow, that dude can play like nobody's business, man. <laughs> Notice I, I uh, put my guitar back in the stand. and uh, A lot, yeah. I picked the microphone up, and I started to <laughs> sing more. And and you still you still played a lot, but you didn't have to anymore. No. <laughs> you no. didn't have to. Didn't man. want to. No, I see exactly. Paul, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Right, right. Might as well use the thing as a coffee table, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let him take it. <laughs> just hear a cord finally thought go off. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> and uh, Paul's got his uh, own YouTube uh, and uh, Facebook page, Paul Stein Guitar. You can check out some of his videos there, and I was checking out. You know what I wanted to bring up about Halpa Music from the last podcast? What's that? The uh, ad that Paul was in when he was 11 years old for the Wolzer organ, uh, and his, gra- his grandma was in it, too. He told us about that. <laughs> the last time he was here, right? <laughs> yeah, funny story about that Do organ. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm buying my parents' house. And uh, that organ is there. Oh, wow. I've had to move it all over the place. Heavy, weighs 500 pounds. So I've had to move it from one end of the house to the other, back <laughs> over here to put the floor in. And it, that, that organ, it, wow. Dude, I didn't it's know gonna, that. It's yeah, a it's killing guy me. for 35 years. <laughs> See, I didn't know he was a piano player. Right. Until we were in a band for like five years. And he, I caught him doing something one day. I'm like, what? Oh, no. I, I remember one of the first times I saw him touching the keyboard, he was playing Eruption on it. And I'm going, what, <laughs> what are you doing? He's playing Eruption on a Overhand. keyboard, man. It was insane, oh. man. That's what I'm playing. Like, we gotta, so you still got that Wolitzer. You still got that Wolitzer. Yeah, it's, it's in my living room. I got to see that. Yeah, you, ever, something. you ever want to get rid of it, you just call me. I'll come pick it up and get yeah. it out of your way, man. <laughs> I, I got a collection. <laughs> of what time can you be there? <laughs> It's got to have a hundred watt power amp inside it. Oh, it's ridiculous! To, yeah, man. Our, I, 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 my buddy Jeff's got a Wolitzer with a two hundred watt power amp inside of it. Man, they're, man, they're it's got amazing. speakers that point every which way, yeah, and, yeah, and it's I got a Leslie one of those rotating yep. things in it too. Love that, love that stuff, man. I didn't know that. You told me. That. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we dug some stuff out of him last time he was here. You know, because he's it like, I don't know if I can. Stuff back. <laughs> we promised him we'd talk about equipment. And then we brought up Halp, and he's like, you know, I'm going to throw one at you, you don't realize. When I was 11 years old, I was in this ad for Halp, and we're like, what? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> was that good, though? Because, I mean, the list of stuff he bought after that from there, I mean, it's yeah. it's a list. It's I'm all sure in the... Well, they well, pick up any instrument, didn't matter if it had strings on, he was going to just tear it up. You was, get your they, trombone from there? Yeah, yeah. See, and, and uh, the a lot un- of people don't know he's a master trombone player. All right. Player. Oh, come on. <laughs> and uh, I bought a saxophone. For, well, actually, I rented a saxophone from him, but uh, I had to take it back because my family wasn't too uh, thrilled with me practicing it Uh-oh. in the stairwell. I, that was the only place I could make it sound good was in the stairs. Get the right reverb. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> just stand on his back and, play, and play the harp, baby. Let me tell you. Yeah. I can make six notes on the saxophone. <laughs> That's oh. half of them. Well, There's yeah. only 12 notes, so You're that's in the half. ballpark. And the bottom two are at the same time. 
<laughs> That's probably my I go, favorite. I note. could play two E's, a G. No, I don't know. That's, that's good stuff, man. Hey, but 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 you have bought not only bought a lot of stuff personally, but the the undecided had a rotating line of credit there. I don't know, all, like all the gear that we used, <laughs> that U-Haul truck full of gear that we used to We're drive. Still trying to and, pay off that yeah. debt. <laughs> that that U-Haul full of gear was all basically from helping. And, yeah. and we would go in there and go, yeah, I like those 18s. <laughs> Put it on our bill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You and we charge about sixty six thousand dollars. You know, uh, look, yeah. when people turn kids m- loose with credit yeah. at a music store, what happens yeah. is really the fault of the My people. My parents <laughs> pulled out the board and whooped us all. <laughs> what did they suppose was going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> what do you what, what do you think was going to happen, man? Uh, <laughs> we're going to hit some like four thousand in cymbals and sticks and. You know, <laughs> Fifty thousand yeah. speakers. And well, that was when Scott played in. He still. I just jammed with him a couple weeks ago. He still plays. Uh, he still likes to hit the drums pretty, uh, pretty heavy. But mm-hmm. back then, he would leave sawdust behind him. Oh, no. He would crack the cymbals regularly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember, he had to deal with the cymbals, and they cut him off. Yeah, yeah. because he was kept breaking them and breaking them. And I'd be standing uh, on stage, and someone hit me in the back of the head. And it was a piece <laughs> of cymbal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every night on stage, or you know, as we were tearing the the gear down, that you could see where the drums were because there was just chunks of, of drumsticks, uh, sawdust, big chunks of stick. The vacuum wouldn't pick it up. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> oh, good times, man. Good. We we did a lot of a lot of fun times, man. <laughs> I can't even maybe maybe we, too many fun. We, times. we can't even talk about a lot of the really fun times. No, nope, nope. well, that'll be on the uh, internet version of this, right? <laughs> maybe the. Uh, the documentary, yeah, right? There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, we'll have to have you guys come back on and just talk more stories, though, because we didn't even. There were so many stories I was thinking. We're I was gonna, gonna have to talk ahead of time. Probably, yeah, sure. right. <laughs> Work that out. Right. By then, Greg's gonna have a few himself. <laughs> you won't believe what they did. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time you had that girl with the Adam's apple? And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just what? teasing you, brother. Just, uh, you never know. It could happen next week. <laughs> just uh, good times, man. Good times. Yeah, yeah. So where can people check out the uh, Undecided, like online or whatever? Facebook? I guess the yeah, best place? Facebook. The Undecided Online. Or, or just everybody. Heck, we, we're friends with everybody in town anyway. Yeah. Or just go to, uh, you know, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, and our actually our, our old classic albums have, have been remastered. Yeah. And they're available on Amazon. Okay. Just type in like the undecided, and and it's got our albums on there. And they've they've kind of been uh, improved on the old, you know, real to real recordings that we did, you know, back then. And they're for sale. And there's a bunch of bonus tracks on the first one that Paul put on there. That was uh, some stuff that we never did release. So I think there's like three, and there four on the uh, two. There might be three. I don't know. Three. Is there? Did you guys I, remix I down guys by the river? At yes, some point? and down by the river. Not remix. Was remastered. Just remastered. Yeah, the original tapes are long gone. Yeah, yeah. We had to remaster the two track version that was left of it on Dat. Mm-hmm. Right. Because back yeah. then we were mixing down on Dat off reel to reel. Right. So. The old days. Let's tape. just bring back real to real and vinyl. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. that, and it, it sounds like it's happening. I Everybody's wish. releasing stuff on vinyl, and I to me, it. you know, you can't do vinyl the without real to real. The days of magnets oh, and yeah, tapes. Sure yeah, you can. It's not, it's not the same. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm getting at. Yeah. You know? What ain't a, a vinyl record made off of a CD? No, made yeah. off a digital recording. No. Right. If it starts at ones and zeros, it's never going to get any bigger than what those ones and zeros were. But we all know at. in this room what it sounds like. Oh, when yeah. You're in a real studio on some two inch tape, and you've recorded the stuff, and you're hearing it back for the first time. Of course, no one's ever going to hear it like that again. Right. Yeah. That to me is the purest, and you're like, wow. Yeah. But it's just right there in the studio, right off the machine. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just ones yeah. and zeros. There's twos and threes and fours. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you only knew six notes on the saxophone. Yeah, that's on the saxophone. There's 20 on the, on the tape. I don't know how many notes you're playing in the anyway, videos on guitar. It's a lot, though. Thank you guys for having us on, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's thanks thanks for coming down, guys. And uh, everybody get down to the back room of the Bottle and Barrel this Saturday. Saturday. This Saturday We're going night. on at 9 o'clock, baby. There you go, man. The undecided. Sharp. Okay, yep. maybe not. But 9.05. <laughs> They're getting old. It's, it'll be bedtime by Same 10, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so they get off on time. They're We're not Guns and Roses. Okay. Sound check at 502. 
<laughs> Check that out. There you go. interview. Now that that see that is, that is that's what I like to hear, man. I'm sitting here know. trying to figure out the Illuminati symbolism in 502, but that's just me. It's there, man. There's just, a seven there. I look, a, a, a five and a two, man. That's just two threes. You're one three short of the nine, it's and that's all genius there. Genius Ramones. You oh, got to go tricky. Yeah. yeah the, the first guitar solo I, I, solo I ever played was uh, sedated because it was just one note. Dee, 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 Nailed dee, it. Dee. <laughs> Nailed it every time, man. <laughs> right on. That jazz guy couldn't teach that uh, working man, though, to... Paul, I'm just saying that was no, he the, couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> and that was one note. That's why I, you know, I love that story though because you know I never had, went back one more time after that. <laughs> that was it? And, and to me, we that, both with the same experience. You did. You had the same one. Now, yeah. E.B. and the twelve bar blues wasn't getting her done. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. There's. That's when you realize there's a difference when you're playing rock. I did learn a lot right? of things from that guy, but yeah. not working man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're talking about Bill Smith. Oh. Yeah. Junior. Yeah. Brown. <laughs> I don't know. Junior Brown. Hyphenated. Junior Brown's good, man. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, all right. Hey, uh, yeah. we, we got to get out of here. Right. So, uh, who's who's hey, next week? Uh, next week, we got Black uh, Black Creek Hollow. All right. Uh, original, original local band and uh, Lorenzo We're Small. Out. So, See all right, man. guys. Uh, everybody get out and support local music and art. All right.